Rocky Mountains is forestry technician Michelle Ward. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hello, thank you for having me. All right, so I think it's safe to say what you have is, is called a, would be called an unusual job. Can you describe what maybe your normal day-to-day -day looks like? Yeah, absolutely. So for three and a half months a year, I go live on top of the mountain in a tower, and I live and work in the same structure, and I look out for fire and smoke. And if I see it, I fill out a report and report that to dispatch. Yeah, you know, I've lived out in, out in the West, and so you get used to seeing these towers, and I've always kind of wondered, what do you do up there to pass the time? And does it ever get a little mm -hmm. lonely when you're up there for a few months out of the year? Sure. Well, I bring my dogs with me mm -hmm. and my friends and boyfriend come visit, which mm -hmm. is nice. Um, and I do lots of phone calls and FaceTime with my family and friends. Um, so I'm usually looking out all day and night and to pass the time in my off time, I go on hikes, I explore around the area, I practice yoga, read, draw and paint. Do you, got, do you have Wi-Fi up there or no? No Wi-Fi, but I do have full cell phone service right on the tippy top of the tower. Oh, okay. All right, well, then you're good. I have another question. Go ahead. I didn't mm -hmm. see the bathroom in your video. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in the lookout, or do you have to, like, go down to find that? I have to go down. So I climb down, and I've got a little outhouse on the ground. Wait, man. So, so hopefully you don't have to go in, like, the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, there you it's go. a little, like, long-term camping. Yeah. Very okay. Cool. All right. Well, when you uh, listen, getting back to your job, when you spot smoke, what equipment do you use to help identify its location? So we use a really old tool called an Oz Fire Finder. They were made in the 1910s, and that's in the center of the video there. And it's just um, a map, basically on a rotating disc. And we spot the fire with a crosshair, take down the degree or the azimuth from the lookout, and we'll do cross azimuths with other lookouts if two people can see it to help triangulate. And from your vantage point, what are the pre-fire signs that you have to always kind of be on the lookout for? Well, we know if there's high fire danger or not. We get a report every morning on the radio. And then anytime weather comes through, we're really looking out for lightning and recording down strikes. And then we'll monitor those for up to 10 days after. Uh, the lightning can actually go down through the tree and travel through the root systems and pop up somewhere else. Well, there you go. What are typical weather conditions for, uh, for, for you that high up? Like, what are you normally experiencing there? Good question. So even in the summer, it gets really cold at night. I'm up at 8,200 uh, foot elevation. Mm. So sometimes even midsummer, I'll get a couple snow snowstorms up there. So 6,000 elevation is about where you get different love weather from lower down. Well, it's a very unusual, but also just a very important job that you have up there. And I know everybody around appreciates what you're doing, looking out for them. So thanks for sharing your story and that perspective, because we've 